There is one device that is actually competing with the iPhone SE 2 and that device is the Samsung Galaxy S10e and here's why. Hey guys, I'm Azam Arzjub and welcome back to another episode. A lot of people, including me, said about the iPhone SE 2 that is the most worth it smartphone nowadays. There is one single rival that is actually competing with the iPhone SE 2 and that device is the Samsung Galaxy S10e. And of course it's because of the price. They're both coming at 400 bucks. Each device is for type of people and here's the differences. The second gen iPhone SE comes with the A13 Bionic chip which is the most powerful chip in any smartphone as Apple claims but it's actually true but the few years old design made people a bit hesitant and that's where the Samsung Galaxy S10e fills in. Here's what you get with the Samsung Galaxy S10e that you don't get with the iPhone SE. You have the modern design with the edge to edge screen with a bigger OLED 5.8 inches full HD plus HDR 10 plus certified screen. You get an extra camera in the back which is the ultra wide and a better front facing camera. A better water resistant with IP68, USB type C with fast charging brick within the box, higher storage with the base model starting at 128 gigs with expandable storage up to 512 gates. And last but not least the headphone jack which is really necessary to the people on budget. It sounds like I'm ditching the iPhone SE but no, here's what's better on it. You get the A13 Bionic chip which is the best chip that you can buy right now on any smartphone, a better main camera in terms of videos and the fact that it is Apple means iOS means everything that comes with the iOS devices. And because it's an iOS device you get faster and more consistent software updates which you don't really get that on the Samsung side. Here's the deal if you want a better screen, a modern design, an expandable storage, an ultra wide camera, USB type C, headphone jack, IP68, all of that, get the Samsung Galaxy S10e. You're gonna be more than happy with it. But if you don't really care about the looks and you want the fastest update and the fastest chip and the better main camera and you want to dip your toes in the iOS world, you want an Apple device, then the iPhone SE will be the best for you. In general, both of them are really great phones. If you don't care about these minor differences, then if you pick any of them, you'll be more than happy. And that's been it for today's episode. I hope I helped you out a bit making up your mind. If I did, give it a sub. And don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See ya!